Hey YouTube, it's Sam with Michaels and Yachts. I'm up here in beautiful San Pedro and today is a very special day. We are offloading a brand new Generation 2 Michelson 57, the first one of its kind. Woo! Let's go check it out. Shot. What a throw. Hey, look at there's that boat. There's the Nava. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you guys can see over there, that's the USS Mercy, I believe. Oh, yeah, it says yeah, it on the USNS Mercy. USNS Mercy? That's where the Catalina Express is. Here, I'll walk over and get a good shot so you guys can see. But they got the Coast Guard out here. They got the police boat because yesterday some crazy person drove a. Uh, the, one of the railroad trains off the tracks and tried to crash into it somehow. And then over here we got the Vincent St. Thomas Bridge. A quarantine cruise ship. That's a quarantine cruise ship? Yeah, I think so. Dang. And then we have our beautiful first ever Gen 2 Michelson 57. Brand new. Just looking beautiful. It's a little dirty right now, but this whole uh, freighter ship is pretty dirty. I think it's because it's been raining so much in Southern California this year. It's been getting rained on the last couple weeks. Here, I'll hand it down to you. All right, guys. If you've never been on a freighter before, this is how you go down. You go down about six stair sets that look just like this. Sweet. Just gorgeous. All right, guys, we're gonna try and go down and not fall. So we'll see how this goes. Holding the camera and a fire extinguisher. So. Ha! All right, first ladder down. Four more to go. You can see in here, there's like nothing. There's more giant containers. One more. We're getting there. Paul and I have gotten lost like three times coming back up because we keep coming up the wrong ladder or staircase. One more. Whoa. I'm sorry, kind of tricky to maneuver. Should probably set the camera down, but it doesn't make for as cool of a shot. Just absolutely beautiful, guys. First of her kind. And this is actually, this is gonna be our Michelson demo boat. This is my father's boat. And guess who is even more excited about having a new 57? I am. It's gonna be sweet. Gonna be sweet, gonna get a bunch of Cool videos and footage for you guys. That, see, that one's nice. That one's kind of like a staircase. Evergreen or whoever builds these freighters. Put more staircases in, less ladders. She's beautiful. Makes me want to sing, you guys, but I would, but I'm worried my voice is so good that we'd get 
copyright infringement on the YouTube. So, you know how it is. All right, guys, first things first. Here's our beautiful propellers. So when the boats come here, they don't have propellers on them. The propellers come in these cool pallet deals. And then as you can see, just the shaft. So Paul and I already, we cleaned these up. We put the zinc on up forward. We already test started the engine, which was pretty funny because I'm standing, or I'm sitting. Man. So I'm sitting right here. I'm on speakerphone with Paul and Paul's like, all right, I'm gonna start up the starboard engine. So you can see where that exhaust vent is. So he starts it like 15 gallons of water comes flying out and I'm two feet from it. I just get soaked head to toe, it's hilarious. Nice Taiwan water coming out. Probably has the Rona virus in it. No, just kidding. It's beautiful, you guys. Absolutely insane. So we put in some zincs on the trim tab, zincs on the shafts. So you can see our beautiful propellers. The longshoremen already came and they put down all the uh, all the straps that are holding it, but it's pretty crazy. This cradle, it's like the guy, the longshoreman was telling us that the cradle is almost not warping, but it was like punching holes through the wood right here because the boat is so heavy. But just very cool, you guys. Give you a close up of that. BYB, Blue Water Yacht Builders, Taipei, Taiwan, Republic of China. You guys, if you've never been to Taiwan, Taiwan is an absolutely amazing, beautiful country. The Taipei 101, which is a 101 story building out there. It's just so cool. The food is so good. Everything is good, but the quality of their craftsmanship and yacht building is far superior. That's why we build our boats there. All right, another cool shot. I'm gonna get onto the swim step right now. Don't laugh at me. I have gained a little bit of weight lately. I'm up to like 197, I think, but don't tell my girlfriend. Oh. Uh. I made it! Oh my gosh, you guys. All right, let me flip this camera around. So I'm up here on the swim step, first thing. Awesome railing, okay? When you have your dinghy, it's gonna be super easy to get on and off. Another big grab rail. But look how tall this transom is. So I'm I'm like six, six two, six three, ladies, maybe six four, six five. But look how tall. Chest height. Chest height. And ladies, when I was talking about gaining a little bit of weight, it's all muscle. So 197 pounds of muscle. All right, flipping it around. Beautiful bait tanks. Some good dirt in there just keeping it nice and kind of dirty but it's okay it's because it's been raining here so and we're in LA you guys LA is one of the dirtier cities that I've ever been to but beautiful look at this staircase check this door out hey so when it opens look ta-da it's on a gas shock so when you're underway big heavy seas anything like that boom no big deal oh another cool feature see this huge window right here wouldn't it be cool if that window goes up and down? Oh wait, it does go up and down. So I'm not gonna do it right now. We still gotta hook the batteries and stuff up, but I will show you guys in a later video for sure. You're looking, another amazing door right here. I wonder what's in it. Boom! It's a day head. Insanity, you guys. So we have day head, teak aisle tackle storage. It's coming, it's gonna be put in in San Diego. A little sink right here because we didn't want to take up the whole tackle center right here. It's too big. But this window, you guys, alfresco dining, all this crazy stuff. A lot of our competitors, they put those swing up ones. This goes down like your car window, you guys. Nothing safer, nothing cooler. You're gonna have the best party trick on your boat out of all your friends. Check this out. Beautiful staircase leading up to the flybridge. I'll show you guys. Yeah, the... Look at the window. Oh, Paul's going to do the window for us. Dun, dun, dun. Look at the inside, oh my gosh, sneak peek. Ta-da! You guys, have you ever seen anything cooler than that? Look at that. 
Paul's passing Bud Lights back and forth between here. Oh my gosh, how cool is that, you guys? With the door open, you got this giant window, and it's giant, you guys. I'll get some measurements for you later, but it's big. I was telling my dad we need to name this boat Beast just because it's so, so beast-like. So again, the window right here, and then look at this just absolutely gorgeous granite countertop. Full size, this is like bigger than full size. Like the refrigerator at my house isn't even this big, you guys. Boom, refrigerator, boom, freezer. They're not on yet, so I don't feel so bad for leaving them open. Got a little place for your coffee maker, goes right in there. Boom, microwave convection oven. I'm gonna cook a Thanksgiving turkey in there for sure. Oh, hey, you hate doing dishes on your boat? Oh, don't worry about it. I'll just put a dishwasher in for you. My house doesn't even have a dishwasher. Just kidding, it does. Her name's Erin Pitta. You guys might have seen her in some videos. No, I'm just kidding. But you guys, look at this island right here. Look at this just absolutely beautiful granite countertop, cooktop. I apologize for the mess, but you guys, this is the first time we've seen this boat. So you have this giant L-shaped settee right here with a dinette that goes up and down. This looks like the most comfy bed in all the house when you're underway. To starboard, another giant L-shaped settee. And you're like, oh, what are these weird cutouts for? Oh, I don't know. I don't want to mess it up. But this does lift up. That's going to be all your rod locker storage. Oh, what? What is this rich or frigo? Oh, another refrigerator? Oh, no big deal. TV's going to go there. Got your electrical panel right here. Booyah. It's funny how going from the 43 to the 50 to the 57, the electrical panel just gains switches like it's their job. But again, beautiful, just teak floor in here. This is all gonna be carpeted, you guys, so. Oh, many other cool things. Look at all this. So this is Gen 2 windows, okay? All Gen 2 windows in here, so bright. No lights are turned on right now, still so bright. Look at this. You're walking all the way down a hallway, okay? Check this out. I'm gonna flip the camera around. Like I said, I'm like 6'2", 6'3", with this hard hat on, I'm probably like, at least six six okay look at this look at it. i can jump yeah i can jump you guys it's amazing there's probably nine ten feet of headroom in here going down the hallway so no it doesn't feel like a tunnel doesn't feel like a hallway feels like a large room and it's beautiful all right first thing i'm going down the hallway to port boom Beautiful queen size bed in here. Sorry, these are flybridge cushions down here. You have storage, storage, storage. Oh, what's under the bed? Oh, storage. Oh, what's over there? Okay, storage. What's that? Oh, air conditioning. What's that? Okay, porthole hatch. Or that's the porthole. That's just a deck hatch. But beautiful. Look at these windows in here, you guys. Nobody else does this. This isn't, this folds down. Nobody else puts these windows in like this. Like you go in a, I can't say it because it's one of our competitors and I'm not going to talk smack, but you go in some of our competitors' boats and it feels like you're in a submarine. Just beautiful, you guys. All right, we're walking forward, continuing down. Boom, what's this? Oh, no worries. Just a huge, and look at this. Huge head. Hard hat, probably 6'6". Six, six. So we got like seven, seven feet of headroom in here. Oh, what's this? Giant shower, super cool. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a toilet. Oh, what's that? The sink, okay, mirror. Super rad, we're continuing forward, you guys, into the master stateroom. Beautiful master stateroom. Apologize for, again, these are the flybridge cushions in here. Really cool mirror, but just tons of storage, air conditioning in it. And then the master has its own ensuite head. With again, the beautiful granite countertops. You guys, this boat is just amazing. And then you're like, oh, Sam, what's under that staircase right there? Oh, I don't know, let's go check it out. Oh, the lights are off. But oh my gosh. 
you guys, this is huge. This is like having a fourth stateroom down here. So when your kids, you start to get in a little fight with your kids, oh, no worries, send them to the brig. You just put them down here. Oh, and in there, sorry, it's so dark in here. I need to turn some lights on. Washer dryer. You might also be asking like, oh, Sam, what's under all of those hatches? Oh, I don't know. Maybe access to the top of your tanks so that it's super easy to work on them when you need to. Okay, so water, um, black water. But you're like, Sam, there's so many hatches here. What are they all for? Well, I don't know. Maybe just a ton of storage down here. Super cool, you guys. Super cool. And then you're like, how do I get access to the top of the fuel tanks in case I ever needed to? Booyah! Pretty simple, you guys. Another thing right here, cool accent lights. I'm gonna have to put these in another video because I think we're running out. I'm on my 12 minutes right here. Also, more rod locker storage over here, but you guys, just look. I need to measure how big it is up here because it goes at least five feet that way. It's just amazing, you guys. I'm just as happy as I have ever been holding a tiny camera talking to myself it's a great day all right guys that's all I'm gonna show you for now I'm gonna get some footage hopefully when the boat is getting picked up by the crane put in the water and then we're going over we're gonna pick up my dad and my little brother Trey and then we're going to drive this thing from San Pedro down to San Diego. And I'll throw that in the video too, you guys. But thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And this boat is insane, you guys. This video doesn't do it justice. Wait till you see it in real life. You're just going to be like, oh my gosh. Those guys at Michelson, they know what the heck they're doing. All right, peace out.